Hey you guys, so now that we've covered both the endocrine system and the reproductive system, we're gonna kind of, we're gonna do a Venn diagram to compare and contrast some of the similarities and differences of both body systems. So I'm gonna set it up where I have the endocrine system right here. And then of course we have the both, what's in common in the middle. And then I'm going to have my reproductive system on this side. So first with endocrine system, we can say that the endocrine system controls and regulates the body's chemistry using hormones, okay? That's not part of the reproductive system, so it only falls under the endocrine system, okay? We can say, though, that the reproductive system ensures the survival of the species, okay? The endocrine system does not guarantee the survival of the species, but reproductive system does. Okay, the word offspring. Remember when we covered that, that was in the reproductive system. So offspring are like babies, okay? So out of regu um, reproductive and endocrine system, the one that regulates our growth, that would be the endocrine system using hormones. Now, Let's think about this next one. Okay, progesterone. Okay, progesterone, remember, is part of the female reproductive system. However, it is also a hormone. So it falls under both. Zygote. Okay, zygote was a term that we covered in the reproductive system notes. It's kind of like an offspring. It's before a baby is born. It's the very beginning stages of reproduction. Okay. Regulates digestion. What controls our digestive system? That would go under hormones. Hormones help to regulate our digestion. Now here we have the term ovary. Okay, the ovary is part of the reproductive system but the ovaries produce hormones, specifically like progesterone. So we would put ovary under both. Okay, next, testosterone. So testosterone is, we talked about it in the reproductive system for males, but it's also in hormones. So testosterone would go under both. Estrogen. Estrogen was also the second type of hormone that females produce, and it's part of the reproductive system as well. So estrogen goes under both part reproductive and both endocrine. Thyroid gland. Okay, this gland, remember, was discussed, it's found in kind of our throat area, neck, um, that produces hormones. This is part of the endocrine system. Okay, the word hormones. So hormones we definitely have in the endocrine system, but we do have hormones of the reproductive system. So we can put hormones in the middle for both. Okay, the next one is the sperm. Okay, remember sperm is produced by the testes they are the male gametes, okay? So that goes under the reproductive system. Eggs are found in the ovaries of a female. This is the female gamete or female sex cell. So this is the male sex cell and this is the female sex cell. And then the last one we have is testes. So the testes are found in males. They are part of the male reproductive system but they also produce hormones, which is part of the endocrine system. So we would put testes in the both, okay? So now we've compared and contrast and found similarities and differences between the endocrine system and the reproductive system.